Scott Arson Cook getting to 11-10. Carey with gold medal points. Out of court! They have won the gold medal! You're trying to reach the summit. You need to start doing the things right now that you need to be doing when you get there. Sometimes you might not find what you have right in front of you. You have to step out of your comfort zone and get out there and look for someone, a mentor, a coach, someone who's going to help you get better. And I wanted to be the best. I wanted to be the best in my club team. I wanted to be the best in my state team. I wanted to be the best in the Australian team. When you want success in your life, when you want to achieve something, you really got to, you've got to know what it's going to be. Fill in the blanks, I am, and then have a look at it because what you write after that is who you are right now. And we learned a massive lesson. It's not what happens to you that's important. It's exactly how you deal with it. He said, Carrie, on every panel of that ball, I want you to write a goal. And then I want you to date that goal. When you're looking for inspiration, when you're looking for help, don't be afraid to ask. We actually weren't physically as fit in Sydney as we were in Atlanta. We were actually a bit less physically fit, but we were so much better up here. You can choose your attitude any time, any day. We tried to live our lives in a type of gold medal excellence. So by the time we got to the Olympics, we would pick up the gold medal along the way. Does that make sense? I hate sand, by the way. <laughs> when I first started playing beach volleyball, I'd land on the ground like this so I wouldn't get sand in my fingernails. We had to step out of the comfort zone. We had to do things every single day to push ourselves to that point that we could beat the Brazilians. There's no trick to this. It's just about facing your fears and having a go. All right, here we go. Ah. Ah. There you go, look down, have a look down. Ooh, nice. And then all the way off, all the way. Hey, give him a round of applause. So I'm gonna say right now that if you do have your life plans, your vision boards, set your goals, put them out where other people can see them and share them with other people, because it really does make it more accountable. You know, it doesn't matter what happens, it's how you deal with it. It's the positive attitude that you bring in and gets you through. And Two of Australia's most famous athletes, Kerry Potast and Natalie Cook. Hi guys! I guess what kept us going and the drive and determination stayed there was the prize at the end. Northern Territory Young Achiever Awards are on again tomorrow night. Today, triple Olympian Kerry Potast touched down in Darwin. Joining us to tell us all about the venue and the competition, Nines Olympic commentator and Sydney gold medalist Kerry Potthast. I've spent the last two days with Nat and I can honestly say she's the most relaxed that I've seen her in four years. Welcome back everyone. Now there are four weeks until the Olympics and today is round five of our very own version. It's the Amateur Games 2012. None other than Australia's most decorated volleyball player having represented our country for an incredible 22 years. I can't believe that. It Sorry. is Kerry Potter. Yay! I was intrigued to read that uh, in the lead up to the preparation for the Sydney Olympics back in 2000, there was actually a bit of firewalking involved. <laughs> <laughs> it was all about basically pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. In order to succeed, we need to continually push ourselves past what we believe is possible. And that's what the firewalking was about. Kerry, what was your first thought when Kurek said, I want you to walk across this broken glass? <laughs> Are you crazy? Uh, we can't done. see some of those things. <laughs> was that your first thought this morning, Brett? Yeah. You mentioned that you're going to be doing it. When I asked you to do yeah. it. No you way. You're going to do it with us? You? You're an ultimate champion. Who are you on this side? And who are you on this side? Breathe, relax, and walk with each step with certainty. Great. Make oh. sure there's no bits on there. There's one bit. I'll just take that off. Oh, well <laughs> done. Oh, and I must say, Kirik is amazing, and without him, we definitely wouldn't have won the yeah. gold medal. We've got Kerry Potthouse now, a nine commentator. What's happening down there? Is this all part of the road to the Olympics, the selections and so forth, Kerry? 
Hi guys, it's all happening down at Manly. This is the eighth round of the Renault National Beach Volleyball Series. We're here in beautiful Port Macquarie on a sensational day, perfect conditions for beach volleyball. And the winner of the 2005 Male Athlete of the Year, presented by the 2007 World Police and Fire Games is... Grant Hackett. Okay guys, so the first lesson is, without the ball, how to put your hands together. Everyone's put their arms out straight like that. One hand on top of the other. Now, thumbs right next to each other like that. Straighten your arms right out so your elbows are completely <laughs> straight. Harry overcame serious injury to play beach volleyball and she's now written a book to show how we can all tap in to the mindset of a champion athlete. Kerry, good morning to you. Good morning, Koshi. Your attitude was the most powerful thing to overcome that injury. What, what did you do? What can we learn from that? Well, it was interesting. I'd played volleyball for 10 years, indoor volleyball first, and when I wrecked my knee, I was really depressed. And it wasn't until my boyfriend at the time gave me a brand new white volleyball, and he said, write your goals on each panel, date them, and then step by step get back to playing sports. So it is a must read for any athlete or any parent whose kid may show a bit of a sign that they might become an elite athlete.